Hi, this is Craig Hutchinson with NewYorkRebels.com. After a terrific 4-1 victory away in Toronto last week, the team returns to Red Bull Arena to take on the Earthquakes, with New York looking to avenge the 4-0 defeat in San Jose earlier on in the season. The game was important because we needed to win. We needed to, to make the Toronto game count. Uh, so now I think we, you know, uh, getting a little bit of a difference. I know that Chicago has a few games on him, but we needed it to get the result today, and we need to win our game, home games. And I'm sure that if we get, you know, the next few home, home games, we're going to be in the playoffs. So that's what we have to do. The last two games, two very good results, very good performances. Do you think that's uh, partly because the new players are getting fitter and? fitting in with the team a little bit better? Um, for sure, I mean, you can tell that the fitness is there and, uh, you know, the understanding is there. It takes time, so uh, we still got a lot of work to do and, uh, you know, they bring a different level and I think everyone's uh, kind of feeding off it and improving and the, and the club's moving forward, so I'm happy to be a part of it and hopefully we keep it going. Each game they're taking time to gel with the team and it's working so far. Two big victories in the last two weeks and looking forward to more. We'll have a tougher game next week in Rio Tinto, a tough place to play, so just looking forward to play that, that game. How do you think it's going to disrupt it a little bit for next week with some of the international call-ups? Yeah, that's a problem, of course. We just have to try to cope with that. Uh, it will be four starters who will be away, Boona, Miller, Marcus and Dane Richards. And of course, when you go for a away game like Salt Lake, it's not the best way to prepare, but that's the, the thing it is, and we just have to cope with that. Dane was outstanding today and he made our lives very, very easy because every time we drop, you know, and, and he's one of the things that I felt very comfortable today with Henry because we were finding each other, you know, throughout the game. We were combining, you know, the movements very well. Uh, sometimes I was dropping and he was staying as a long striker. Sometimes he was doing it because he, he normally does it. And every time I drop, I have the option to get Dane uh, on the channel. And you know that he's always a threat, you know, when he gets on the run, you know, and if you play a good ball uh, on the channel, he's always going to get him. There's very few defenders in here that can catch him or can, you know, uh, sustain the pace with, with him. And uh, his goal was a very well taken goal. I think he's, he's been playing like that for a little while. Uh, the only thing he, he, he wasn't doing maybe is putting the ball in the back of the net and, and uh, assisting. Uh, he did that tonight and uh, since I've been here, you know, I've been very impressed by him. Uh, I was talking uh, to some of the guys who were at a training ground the other day. It's, it's, it's very difficult to defend against him because if you give him a good pass, then he's going to go, you know, and beat you with his pace. It's uh, it's uh, it's amazing the way he's been playing at the at the moment. It's amazing. Since the Man City game, you've been on a good run of form. Would you say this is the best stretch of form you've been in uh, throughout your whole career? Yeah, I would say so. You know, confidence coming from the, my teammates and my coaching staff. So. I'm just really happy right now, happy playing, so once I'm happy and confident, I tend to play well. When uh, uh, the guy on the pitch gave me a great ball, like uh, Dan did, the first thing I, I did was to, to go and congr congratulate him and, uh, and make sure that the fan knew that the goal was 60% uh, because uh, of him, so that's what I wanted to do and, and make sure that the, the, the crowd knew that you know, without him it, it, it would not have been possible. Thierry Henry notched up his first goal today. How important do you think that is for him uh, to finally get off the mark? Yeah, I think it is important, even if I don't think Thierry bother that much if he scores or, or not. But uh, the way he, uh, he he moves, the way he 
not close down but make space for himself that will always be a trouble for center backs to close him down his passing game his leadership on the pitch that's the most important to get, get our game going as good as possible it's been coming uh, for a couple of games uh, I missed, uh, I missed some goal in Houston, I missed uh, a great one in Toronto, uh, a couple of stuff going in and out. Uh, and then tonight again the same thing, I hit the post, uh, one gun was on the line at one point also. Well, I tried to chip the goalkeeper also, he saved it. Uh, but as I said, you know, it was very important to, to get that, um, that second goal. Um, whoever was going to score it, Juan could have scored it, I did. Uh, it was a great feeling also with the fans, you know, everybody was waiting for the goal, I was waiting also for the goal, but it's always important when the goal is important. Second time in two weeks, a good victory in performance against a playoff contending team. The 2-0 victory also marked the first Major League Soccer goal for Thierry Henry.